Hello, I am Joe Massad, and this is the tip of the day. You know, I've been doing these tips of the day for, gosh, over the last year, and we've done dozens of tips of the day. But I think one thing that we as dentists always seem to be confused or have problems with is the shade, especially when we're doing combination cases. Now, many of you know me for doing removable uh, prosthesis, both complete and implant uh, overdenture cases, but we have many, many cases in which we do combination. We have an upper prosthesis, complete removal, we have lower dentition, and are we gonna be matching that? Or sometimes we'll just be doing a partial prosthesis where we're gonna have maybe just a few teeth on the maxilla, and we're going to have uh, the rest will be uh, you know, prosthetic teeth or some crown bridge combinations. Those get to be the, I think, the most difficult ones to you know, make shades with. And we have shade guides. I mean, we have all the shade guides. Yes, every company has done their very best to give shade guide after shade guide after shade guide. And I'm so confused, I'm just gonna throw these away. Because what I'd like to do, and I want to talk to you today about something that's extremely simple, something that's been calibrated, something that's more scientific. And I have a guest today, and my guest is from Maryland, Dr. Martin Mendelson. And Martin is really, I think, one of the experts because he's really studied this, and he would like to show you two basic advances in shade selection. We want it simple, we want it quick, and we don't really want to have a patient come back and say, that wasn't what I wanted. And then we have problems with lighting. You know, everything we think about, shade seems to be, you know, a problem. So what do we do? We make everyone the same shade and we don't have any gradients and many times uh, patients begin to look rather unnatural or we tell the patient, well, go bleach that tooth or go do this and I can't get them all the same and, and you, you can't. But I think we can specifically with some scientific methods, we can actually get much, much closer and make it simpler for both us and the patient. Martin, uh, why don't you uh, talk about the two little um, new aspects that we have in dentistry today? Well, thank you very much. Uh, these are two very exciting advancements that have just debuted this past October, actually, at the American Dental Association show in San Antonio. Uh, the first that I wanted to talk to you about is actually the Linear Guide 3D Master. Now, as you know, 3D Master has been out for about 10 years now. And what the Vita company has done is taken 3D Master, which, by the way, is the only evidence-based shade guide on the market. It's actually based upon what we know about the colors of the human dentition. And it's a very accurate shade guide, and that's been proven within the literature over the last 10 years. And what the Vita company has done is actually made this even simpler to use. In two very, very quick steps, you can get a scientific, evidence-based, objective shade quickly and accurately. And the way this works is twofold. The first guide that we have is actually the value guide. And for those of you who've used 3D Master, and I know you have, Joe, you'll notice that you have all of the five value groups here on one small shade tab. This is actually the middle chroma group, if you notice, 0M2 to 5M2. And what you do with this guide is very simple. This is the value guide, as I said. You put it up to the patient's mouth and you ask yourself, is it closest to group 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or 0 in lightness or darkness? Once you know which group you're in, you go back to the holder and you pick out the individual group that you have matched the value to. And with this individual group in the second, and the second of two steps, no longer three, you then specifically pick the shade and you're done. What's nice about 3D Master is the fact that it is an objective-based guide and you can actually say for, you can actually say uh, very objectively th the shade. You know how we used to say with, uh, for example, the Vita Classic Shade Guide? We would say it's a little lighter than A1 or a little darker than B1. Well, that's a very subjective way to communicate. But with 3D Master and Linear Guide 3D Master, we can say that it's 3M1 0.5, which means it's halfway between 3M1 and 3M2. So you're giving your laboratory technician something very accurate to go for when they're restoring their fixed prosthetic restorations. And then, of course, we can match the denture teeth to our shades as well. So it's a system. It's a complete color system. Great. That's wonderful. You know, we just have to make things much simpler. Yep. We have too many things to worry about in the I office. agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, now, uh, now we have something even more scientific than that. And I think this uh, 
um, is going to be extremely popular because uh, we don't have to think with this one. Too Absolutely. Much too. Absolutely. So, so tell us about this next thing. This is uh, something that we're very excited about. This is the Vita Easy Shade Compact Unit. This is the second generation of the Vita Easy Shade. And we call it compact. I think you can see why. It's very small. Yeah. And what we have here is a unit that differs from the first Easy Shade in several ways. First off, it has an LED white light source. Uh, the first unit had a halogen bulb. So the LED uh, bulb, if you will, it's not a bulb, it's an LED, will not burn out. And you're not going to have any issues of having difficulty with calibration as the bulb is, shall we say, dying. Here it's always going to be consistent. Second of all, as you can see, there's no cord. So this is wireless as well. And it's also rechargeable. And it recharges in its cradle. And with a full charge, you get up to a week's worth of shade taking without a problem. And as a matter of fact, within the unit itself, uh, it also has a memory that allows you to keep 25 shades that you've taken. And it's a rolling memory, so it'll actually uh, the first one in is the, fir is the first one out, if you will. So after you take 25 shades, if you're on 26, your first one is then eliminated. So it makes life a little bit easier so you, you don't have to keep in your head, oh, it's a 3M2 or it's a B2. It's, it's here for you in its memory. Now, the way this actually uh, works, if you will, this is what's called a spectrophotometer. So it's measuring all the wavelengths of light and it's calibrating itself in a very standardized protocol. What's happening here is that it's using its light source and it's projecting that light into a little ceramic block here in the base. Now the Easy Shade knows what shade this is supposed to be and if it measures that shade and it matches what it thinks it should be, then it considers itself calibrated. Uh, when we're using this on a patient, it comes with infection control shields, uh, not only so that we can keep the unit uncontaminated, but it also helps protect the tip. Now, what's nice about the Vita Easy Shade and the compact unit as well is that it has four basic modes. It can measure a single tooth. It can measure three areas on a tooth called tooth areas. It can verify a restoration. This is a very exciting mode that Easy Shade 1 and Easy Shade Compact had. You know, when, when you have a case, especially a fixed case, coming back to you, and uh, let's say it's a difficult patient. We've all had difficult patients. And this is the last step. You're going to insert this case, and everybody will be happy. But you're a little concerned about the shade. You can actually use verify restoration mode, input the specific shade that you chose for the patient, Use the easy shade on the crown and see if it actually matches. And if it doesn't match, it'll actually tell you and your technician what needs to be fixed, value, chroma, or hue, which is a, a very nice thing to have. And it's a very easy device to use. What I'll do here for you is I'll put it in shade tab mode, and we'll go ahead and we will put the unit on a shade tab, and we will go ahead and push the button. And what you see here is that we have come up with 5M2, which is, in fact, the shade that we had selected, which is right here, 5M2. And it works just as quickly on a patient as well. In seconds, you get your shade. It also can measure, I would like to mention, either 3D Master or Classic Shades. It does both. So whichever you uh, prefer, it can measure both for you. You know, the way I look at this also is that, uh, you know, the patient I let help select the shade. Sure. If they want a green tooth, I'm going to give a green tooth. Absolutely. Right? I mean, Absolutely. They want, you want a snow white tooth? Absolutely. Well, it's, it's your mouth. So we could basically say, this is what you chose. Exactly. And then verify. It says, now we're verifying. I could probably take a screen capture of this. Sure. And, and then I could say, all right, well, Mr. Smith, this is what you selected. And I'm just checking it. And this is what you Absolutely. Got. So the, the yeah. other the other way you can actually use this is there's a little USB port right here. And you can actually connect this to your computer. And with a piece of software called LabRx, which comes with a unit, the shade that's taken on the Easy Shade is automatically uploaded to your computer. Oh, nice. And it can create a lab script that you can personalize. It says Dr. Joe Massad with your address. And it'll automatically populate with the shade. It'll also allow you to upload a photo as well. So you can either print that out or you can email it to your technician. 
The technician does not need one of these units. They do need the software, but that's shareware. That's free. That's not a problem whatsoever. So it is a very good way of tracking, and it's a wonderful thing to use also uh, when you're tracking the progress of bleaching. Uh, because, let's face it, patients are going to believe a little gizmo more than they're going to believe us. And if they know that they had chosen a given shade when they were there the first time, and that's what uh, the Easy Shade Compact had chosen, when the patient comes back the second time, you can use the Easy Shade Compact again, see how they've lightened and be able to show them uh, on a guide. If you're going to be using, for example, the bleached guide that Vita has uh, come up with uh, in 2007, and you can show them exactly where they are in reference to where they were a couple weeks before. Yeah, you know, we tell patients, we go, you know, we can do this and say, all right, here's your present shade. Yep. I think we're going to be able to go in the range of maybe six different sure. uh, levels, sure. or maybe not 10 or 12 like you'd like. Exactly. So now I've communicated with the patient and I've told the patient, this is what I believe we can do if we get anything more than that. My gosh, that would be wonderful. You Absolutely. Know? So I think no, another thing is for good communication. Absolutely. Well, now how about demonstrating this uh, on the patient? Because what I'd like to see is I'd like to know if we can get incisal shade, mm -hmm. middle shade and cervical shade. Mm -hmm. And then how can we then take that information mm -hmm. that quickly? Sure. Okay. And how it's going to be positioned on the two. So uh, uh, let's go into the operatory and let's actually demonstrate this on a, on a patient. That'd be okay? Sounds great to me. Okay, great. So in this particular situation, um, we're going to do only a single crown. And so we're going to take, take a look at tooth number nine that's going to be crowned. And since we're not going to do any other crowns, I think it's very important not only to take the shade on the actual tooth that we're going to crown, because it may be a little bit dissimilar, I think the adjacent teeth. Sure. So that way we can say, well, yes, we want to shade this. Sure. And we want to shade probably uh, at least take two shades on the tooth so we'll be able to be able to turn this to our technician. Sure. So let's demonstrate this. If we're going to do tooth number nine, you'll probably do tooth number um, eight and maybe number ten. Absolutely. We can do both of those. We can... Uh, put the Easy Shade Compact into tooth areas mode, and it'll actually guide us to take three individual shades okay. on any tooth you want, in this case, the adjacent teeth numbers eight and numbers 10. Okay. Um, now what I've done since that time, since we were over there before, we put on one of these infection control shields, and we've also calibrated the unit one more time. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start, if you could turn toward me a little bit, and we're gonna start on number eight, and we're gonna take three shades. Now that was a cervical shade. Yep, that's a cervical shade. And you see here it says OK on the top. And then it tells you to go to the middle. So we're going to go to the middle. It says OK. And now we'll go to the cervical, excuse me, the incisal. And it gave us our three shades. And she's pretty much in the 2M group on the cervical in the middle, and then in the incisal, she's a little bit more toward the 3 group. And actually, if you look at her teeth, you can kind of see, uh, she actually is a little brighter, in, in her case, toward the cervical than the incisal. It's usually the other way around, but in her case, that's uh, So this is the see. actual tooth that we're going to be crowning, and we can store this in the computer. Right. And we also now want to go to the adjacent teeth. Well, actually, that, that was number eight. Oh, I'm sorry. That was number yep. eight. Okay. Yep. So th those are the shades for number eight. Okay. And so what we can go ahead and do is take the shades for number 10, and we can take three shades on number 10 as well. And we're going to take the middle. And then we'll take the incisal. And we got pretty close even shading as we go from cervical to incisal. She's a little bit, once again, darker toward the cervical, which you would expect, right? So that can give your laboratory technician the three areas of shading on the three adjacent teeth. And so if you would like, we can then utilize the device and then take three shades on the tooth. We're actually going to crown as well to see what that looks like. So if we're going to go ahead and crown number nine, we have the cervical. Now one of the things you want to be careful of is you want to make sure that you try to stay as still as you can. There are movement sensors within this device, so it's okay, it'll accommodate for a slight movement, but we don't want to have 
wholesale movement while we're taking the shade. And the only other thing that we want to watch is that we're actually very flush on the tooth. So, so we're perpendicular to the tooth surface. And as you see, she's in uh, the two group toward uh, the cervical, and then she goes more toward the three group middle and incisal. And actually, in, in her case, you can, you can kind of clearly see uh, see how she's a little bit brighter in the cervical mm -hmm. than she is in the in the middle and incisal. So the uh, the guy the easy shade is kind of mirroring what we can see visually. I don't want to tell you when I graduated from dental school because I, <laughs> <laughs> I was amazing how the shades were. Of course, we didn't do a lot of gradient shades at that sure, time. I think sure. the incisal and the cervical sure. shade were very very similar. Sure. And um, but now another scenario here. Sure. She elects to go ahead and crown. Uh, the majority, or at least veneer, right. the anterior six sure. teeth, and um, I want her to pick out a shade. Sure. I, I generally let the patient do that. Mm -hmm. if, if a patient wants, um, you know, green teeth, sure. I'm gonna give them green teeth. I mean, sure. I want what they want. I, I want, of course, impose my, you know, my knowledge on color mm -hmm. and aesthetics for Absolutely. a patient. But there are patients who will want a particular shade. Mm -hmm. So can we now take a shade tab? Mm -hmm. Okay, let her choose the shade and actually uh, take the shade tab and, and, and uh, measure it on here to make sure that the technician will do that. We can do that, sure. There's a shade tab mode in here and uh, we can actually put it in that mode and it'll measure the shade tab for us. Now, uh, usually in today's day and age, especially in North America, people want very bright white <laughs> yeah, shades. That's right. So uh -huh. uh, she's probably gonna want if you were to crown uh, or veneer all of your front teeth, I would assume you'd want kind of a light, bright shade. So we'd probably be in the, in the, um, the OM1, OM2, OM3 group, the, the lightest, brightest, or bleach shades, if you will. So we could actually take that shade, let her say, yes, this is what I accept. Correct. Okay, and we can verify it. Yep. <laughs> right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. By going back in Absolutely. and our technician and the patient can actually see that it's verified. Right. And I, I think these are some of the very important communication Absolutely. skills that we need with our patients. Well, I didn't want it that shade. Well, here's what you chose. Right. And here's how it's scanned. Right. So if you'd like to make a change, let's do so. But this is what we Absolutely. chose. And I know sometimes it's difficult because of the lighting, whether you're Absolutely. inside, outside. And, uh, but I think that's wonderful. You know, that's an interesting point to, to show the patient chair side that it's actually measuring the shade tab uh, because then that shows them that it does actually work quite nicely. And then when the restoration comes back, instead of shade tab mode, of course, you're going to measure it and verify restoration mode. And you can show the patient that uh, what you asked for is actually what came back uh, from your technician. You know, in a combination case where I'm going to have uh, removal prosthetics, for example, teeth, uh, and many times we see this, and all of a sudden uh, in the six, and in a cuspid, mm -hmm. I've got a porcelain crown. Sure. Okay. So I think you know that this is very very important because mm -hmm. we could actually take the porcelain crown shade, get closer, or the denture tooth actually get closer to the porcelain sure. crown. I think that because the denture tooth don't come in that right. half and quarter size. Exactly. Yeah. The only the thing we'd have to be careful there of is remember verify restoration mode works when we know what the shade is because yes. we're verifying. Exactly. So what we do in those cases and it's a very nice tool, we visually select what shade we believe closest matches to that crown okay. that's in the patient's mouth. We then use verify restoration mode inputting that shade that we took visually okay. and then it'll actually show the differences in value chroma and hue, if there are any, to the technician, is it lighter, is it darker, is it more chromatic, is it less chromatic, so that the, dent, the, so that the technician can actually best match to that crown. Uh, certainly we want to adjunct that with some nice digital photographs with the shade tab in the photographs so you can see what the shade uh, number of the tab is, that's very important. And uh, a lot of uh, dentists, prosthodontists that uh, our color experts that lecture quite a bit uh, on a routine basis. They use the visual method with the shade tab, the easy shade, and digital photography. All right, you know, here's how I would communicate. I'm not too sure that I'm going to be able to get a prosthetic tooth that's going to match with your existing crown. So what I am going to tell the patient is, we have a choice here. It can be a little bit off or I can redo this crown. Mm -hmm. Because if I redo the crown, then I'm going to be able to, to actually get a much better match than trying to do that. Absolutely. So, that's, an, that's an excellent point because yeah. although we can 
come close to trying to match the color of that porcelain crown in the patient's mouth, it's certainly not an exact science. And, and I think your, your, your method and your ideas hits the nail on the head. We can come close or we can go ahead and redo that. that that's an excellent point. And, and, and especially in the anterior and when you do a lot of removable pros, then we sure. have dealt with these particular patients and sure. now, you know what, our fix cases yep. are, are just as picky now, right? <laughs> and many times more so. That's right, so, that's uh, right. I think what we've learned from that, we can uh, go forward. This has just been tremendous. Well, thank and you. And hopefully the audience has gotten something from this, and I, I just believe this is a, um, you know, a great tool. Are you going to let me do this now? Sure, why not? All right, I'll put my hand here. Yep. All right, I've got to get my glasses see. on. Let's see which mode it's in, because yep. I was playing let's around with it. All right, let's take a look at the mode. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's just go ahead at first and, and take a single shade, okay? Okay. So we're going to put it in tooth single mode, and see that little icon there shows you that it's ready to take the shade. And okay. what you do is you want to put it in the middle of the patient's tooth. Okay. You want to put your hand like so. Okay. Put it in the middle. Third, middle third, flush and perpendicular flush. to the uh, the surface of the tooth. Okay, right. And then you push the button, and you hold it, and now you can move. Okay. And you can take it off the patient's tooth, and there's your single shade. That's what you got. And that's what we were getting before, <laughs> 3 3.5 M1. So. I did that even with the shaky hand, so that, <laughs> that, worked, that worked pretty good. So as you can see, it's, it's accurate, it's reproducible, and it's, it's a very nice device. And I can then, rather than having to take a photo of this, I just put a USB port. Yeah, there's a, there's a USB cable yeah, that you can plug in. And it goes right and to the computer. And it'll go right to the computer as long as you've uh, installed the LabRx software. Okay. And absolutely, you can customize that for your name and your address and so forth. It'll upload the shade uh, quicker than you can even look at the screen. And uh, you can also import some photos as well if you would like. You know, there's, there's another aspect here too. Uh, it, we could just go on and on. Sure. So we don't want to bore our audience anymore. <laughs> but uh, patients who have existing restorations, especially mm -hmm. the removal, I want these teeth just like, you know, right. these teeth. I don't want you to change them. Well, you know, many times if they were not porcelain, you know, a teeth that's mm -hmm. going to wear, and so therefore the shading has worn. Absolutely. So do you and want this shading? You know, I would just go ahead and take the shades and says, well, here's what you existing have. It, well, that that's a little bit more complicated yeah. with denture teeth. Um, with the modes that we have, it's it's going to come close, close. but it's exactly. not going to be exact. And you're absolutely right with wear, with uh, different things that we eat and so forth. It it does and can change the color over time. So. Uh, I think just like you were talking about with the crown before, you could say, well, we can get close or we can Redo get it exact. Yeah, so I think another great communication skill that we can use. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for coming in today. You're welcome. Well, I'll tell you, before you came, I thought this was kind of complicated, but this is really pretty simple, pretty, pretty easy. It you is. Know, I, I think I, I probably made one or the other. I mean, I like both here. I don't know. Just, just let me choose. Sometimes we dentists, we want everything, right? Absolutely. But I want the, the cleanest... I want the least, I want the, the one thing that I know is more scientific. Absolutely. As I, as I tell Dennis, day after day, I'm not going to be telling you something that's anecdotal. I'm right. going to be telling you something that we have done based upon evidence, mm -hmm. based upon science, based upon preponderance of information that we've received over a period of years. Absolutely. And so, especially in the removable field, um, I think it's important because there's a, a lot of different things. Oh, you know, oh, I do it this way, and I do it this sure. way, and I do it this sure. way, and I, and I, you know, don't disagree necessarily with Dennis trying to be artist, but it's difficult, as you know, mm -hmm. to transfer artistry. Absolutely. I mean, it's your art, not my art, and therefore it's subjective. Absolutely. So in dentistry, we're, we're getting to be more and more scientific, and we're doing the same thing in Absolutely. removable process. You know, this has just been great. It's, uh, this is a lot of fun, and well, I think uh, this is going to be great for the profession. And um, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And uh, this is Joe Massad, and that was the tip of the day. And what a tip. <laughs>